How's it going, guys? So, today I was watching some of the media workouts with Gennady Golovkin and Kel Brook. As you know, uh, many videos have been released within the past 24 hours of these guys on the pads doing workouts, you know, just showing some of their final preparation, some footage from training camps and whatnot. And I've been sitting looking through it because, you know, when it's a fight that interests me, I like to get a look at see and see what the fighters are doing during training camp and see how they're looking. And uh, I have to say, and um, I've noticed a trend since some of these videos are coming out. I've noticed a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, are starting to retract what they were saying about this fight. Now, when this fight first got signed, everybody was, oh, you know, Kelbrook's going to get knocked out. Kelbrook doesn't have a chance. He's a welterweight. He's moving up. You know, Golovkin's going to flatten him in three rounds. You know, that, that, that was pretty much the narrative. I've noticed that the narrative has drastically changed in the past 24 hours. I'm seeing a lot of comments, a lot of people, a lot of interviews uh, with people suggesting that Kelbrook can not only give Golovkin a difficult fight, but could per perhaps beat Golovkin. And I have to say, from looking at the, the way that both of these guys are looking in training camp, from looking at the final media workouts, I think, and, and, and I'm guys, I strongly think that Kelbrook is going to give a great account of himself in this fight. I think it's going to be a great fight, a much better fight than a lot of people initially thought. I think that Kelbrook is certainly going to test Golovkin. I think he's certainly going to give Golovkin more trouble than any of his most recent opponents. I mean, guys, Kelbrook, he's looking fantastic. He is looking fantastic in the training camp. He looked flawless, you know, as a... His, his hand speed, he hasn't lost any of his speed since moving up in weight, seems to be punching harder, you know, his combinations are flowing beautifully, uh, I saw a couple of, couple of clips of him sparring with Liam Smith, and I actually thought he looked very good, um, you know, he, he looks very sharp, very fast on the, on the pads, his combinations are just looking absolutely fantastic, uh, at middleweight, he's looking a heck of a lot more healthy, you know, he doesn't have those cheeks sucking into his face, uh, he, he doesn't have that, that big Adam's apple sticking out, you know, where, where you can really see it. He doesn't have that anymore because he's at his natural weight now. He's not starving himself and dehydrating himself to make weight. So he's looking so much more comfortable, so much more sharp. And I think he's going to give Golovkin a heck of a fight, guys. And I cannot wait for this fight. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, the atmosphere is going to be brilliant. Uh, you saw from the media workout the, the kind of support that Kelbrook had just at the media workout. I'm telling you, the fight is going to be bigger. Triple G has never experienced a crowd like he's going to experience at the O2 in London. I mean, there are going to be thousands upon thousands of fans, very loud, screaming for Kelbrook. Right? Kelbrook's going to have huge support that night. And, and I'm telling you, Gennady Golovkin, he's going to... He, he's gonna he's gonna find out pretty quick what it's like to come over and fight in the UK and fight a big name over here. Uh, anybody doubting that Kelbrook was a big name, you know they're eating their words now because Kelbrook. Uh, I mean, look, this fight sold out in 11 minutes because of Kelbrook, because of the because of the fans that Kelbrook has here in the UK, and because people here genuinely believe he has a chance. Okay, the crowd genuinely believe he can win this fight, and. Uh, Guys, it's going to be fantastic, okay? Just don't miss this fight. It's going to be great. Um, you know, all the detractors out there that want to say that it's an easy fight just because they don't want to credit Golovkin should he win, you guys might be happy. Golovkin might not even win this fight. You <laughs> Wait and see. Um, I I'm still, you know, I I'm still going to go with Golovkin to win. I still think he does have the better skills. I do think that his amateur experience and his experience of um, defending his middleweight titles, I, I do think it will come into play and I do think he'll find a way to win. But you never know, okay? Because Kelbrook, guys, Kelbrook's fantastic, okay? On the pads, in training, in sparring, he's looking great. I mean, th this is going to be the best version of Kelbrook we've ever seen and ever will see. I mean, this is his big moment. This is his time to shine. This is his... You know, his uh, platform, if he wins this fight, it elevates him to superstardom. He will be a British boxing legend should he win this fight. He understands that. His team understand that. Eddie Hearn understands that. Believe you me, Kelbrook, he ain't coming to lie down, okay? He's coming to win, and, and this is going to be a fantastic fight. Now, um, 
certain things that I picked up from the uh, from the media workouts. Now, Golovkin looked very good. You know, he always looks good in his workouts. Golovkin's a, a dedicated athlete. He's always in shape. You know, his uh, speed was looking okay. You know, he's not a particularly fast fighter, but, you know, he, he doesn't seem to have lost any speed despite being 34 years old, but still looks in good shape. Um, he's throwing some nice hooks, some nice uppercuts. Uh, you know, he's still punching very hard, which is good to see. Um, but Kell Brook, man, Kell Brook looks a heck of a lot faster. I'm telling you one thing, in, the, in this fight, Kell Brook is going to have a huge hand speed advantage, okay? Kell Brook's hand speed is vastly underrated, okay? And, and he hasn't, he doesn't seem to have lost any with putting on the extra weight. So, to me, guys, this is going to be a fantastic fight. Just do not miss this fight. Do not be surprised if Kell Brook pulls off the upset. Do not be surprised if it's a close fight. Uh, I certainly think Kell Brook is going to put up a much better fight than David Lemieux did. I think he's going to put up a better fight than Dominic Wade and um, Willie Monroe Jr. and all those guys. I, I think that Kell Brook is a heck of a lot more dangerous than those guys. And uh, I, I just can't wait for this fight. It's going to be fantastic. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. It's going to be a great fight.